Pass-through can feel confusing. There are a lot of options out there and it can be difficult for a workshop to know where to start and what to choose. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what pass-through is. We're gonna break down why it exists, the devices that we're spending your money on, how to get yourself set up so that you don't brick an ECU and waste a day. Pass-through was initially introduced under Euro 5 and expanded under Euro 6 to give the independent operator access to emissions related diagnostics and reprogramming. Pass-through is an ideal stepping stone into OE diagnostics. The idea is that you would have one device to access multiple brands. However, it's important to point out that although pass-through is mandated to all vehicle manufacturers, they're not always keeping up to date with pass-through protocol. So from one day to the next, you may not have the same access. They're also not necessarily going to give you access to every single module. That means so long as you're registered with the OE through this device, you can gain access to the OE software, not just one OE software, but multiple brands. One thing that we should explain when it comes to pass-through devices is the difference between compliant and approved. Now, all of the J2534 devices that are designed to that protocol are compliant, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're approved by the OE. Certain OEs have approved certain devices to work specifically with their software. Now, that might be multiple, it might just be one. It, you need to do your research. If you want to work with one OE in particular, it's worth looking into. If you want to know what device works with a particular brand, it's worth dropping us an email and we can help you out. What pass through can and can't do. Typically, we see pass through as being a great option for someone who's already got an aftermarket tool they're looking towards OE they're not quite ready to make that jump pass through will, will give you the option then to be able to do ECU TCU updates software fixes as well as limited coding and adaptations it's not always good for security and anti-theft related work it also won't work with Deutsch or can FD which are unsupported protocols the next thing I'm going to talk about is your setup it's really important with pass-through is that you get everything set up really well, just as you would with an OE tool. It's not like a plug and play aftermarket device. The first thing you'll need is a dedicated laptop. And what I mean by that is one laptop per brand. If you have multiple softwares on the, the same laptop, they'll interfere and stop each other from working. You'll need stable internet so that it doesn't drop out, good battery support. And we've done a video on that. So if you'd like to learn more about what battery support you need you can watch the video up here you'll need to make sure your cables and drivers are clean and you'll need your OE portal logins since you're accessing OE software you're going to need to make sure you're registered with your brand of choice now you've got your setup sorted we'll talk through some of the devices that are available now these are four that we recommend at Maverick and we're going to start off talking about the Cardac 3 Plus this is a long-standing tool at Maverick Diagnostics it was built by the creators of the J2534 protocol it gives really good broad coverage and it comes with the toolbox 3 software which is a great resource for things like educational videos and updates next we have the bosch mts 6531 a very rugged design and it's a great all-rounder now this vci is the basis for many oe vcis it has many capabilities including doip and can fd Next, we have the Actia ACI3, which is a replacement to the very well-known XS2G, which had several um, OE approvals, including Porsche. Now, this is the basis for the core PSA tool, which speaks to the wide European coverage and trusted engineering that this tool gives. Last but not least, we've got the Mongoose Plus, made by Opus IVS, the same as the Cardac Plus 3. Now, this tool is different from the other three, which are generic, because it's brand specific or group specific for instance Ford Toyota VAG therefore it's more reliable for the brand you're working with and also it makes it cheaper as an entry point into pass-through so if you're wondering which device to choose for your workshop then think about which brands you're looking at if it's multi brands then you'd pick for one of these three if it's European brands in particular go for this one and if you have one brand in particular you want to work with it's the mongoose plus now you're a pass-through expert before we finish there's one thing I want to go over because it does cause a lot of confusion the difference between pass-through and remote diagnostics 
So to explain, if you're doing pass-through diagnostics, you've got a VCI like this, the OE software, you're connected to your vehicle in front of you and you are doing the work, you're doing the diagnostics. Remote diagnostics is when you're paying an outside remote diagnostics provider to do the work for you. They've got the OE software or aftermarket tool in front of them and you're paying them 40 to 70 pounds per job. The reason many people are attracted to remote diagnostics is because they're intimidated by OE level diagnostics. Instead of paying a separate company 50 to 70 pounds per job, you can do all of this in-house yourself and Maverick Diagnostics are here to support you with that. Our dealer tool support is 99 pound per month and that's designed to help you keep your dealer tool running and for you to keep all of that work in-house. All of the tools that we've spoken about today are linked in the description and if you want to learn more about dealer tool support or talk to us then head to maverickdiagnostics.com. Thank <laughs> you.